Okay, so um, I've just purchased this uh, PWA fan splitter. Um, basically, it enables you to um, connect up to 10 PWM fans um, up to a single PWM on your motherboard. Um, now, uh, this actually has a power LED there. I don't know if the camera can quite see that lights up up a blue um, when you when there's power in this. This is the uh, Molex connection and um, that gets that powers or the fans connected to this. Um, that is where you connect your CPU fan. Here is where you connect to your motherboard. You connect this with the cable that is included, which is. which is here which is basically just a 4 pin cable so you connect that into there like so um, and then the other end of this you connect this to the CPU fan header on your motherboard um, and then you just connect your, um, your CPU fan there and then you can connect all your other case fans um, into the uh, rest of them like so. Now, um, the um, the speed sensors um, for each of these extra fans that you can add um, can be accessed up here. These ones there. So, say like you have a fan controller on your uh, PC case that can display the speed of fans. Now. Obviously, if you're using this, the whole point of this is um, so you can control all the fans connected to this, the speed of them, uh, in your BIOS, or by using software while you're in Windows. Um, so you don't really need to use fan control, but say like you still want to use your fan controller on your case just to display the speeds of these fans, you can do. Uh, all you need to do is to get a... Um, I'll just get the cable, I've got one somewhere. You can get one of these cables, like so. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. But uh, basically, you can just connect this into there, like so. And then at the other end of this cable, we can chop this plug off, and we can strip back one of these cables, depending on which fan we want to read the speed of, and simply connect this um, to your fan controller on your case and then it'll display um, so say like we want to see the speed of the fan that's connected on this one well that one's number seven <clears throat> so if we look here um, we can see um, I'll just take this out we can see that it's labeled number seven here so that pin next to number seven there um, corresponds to the number seven plug here so all you need to do then is to just take the cable from that number 7 here which is basically a yellow cable and connect it to the yellow cable on your fan controller and then your fan controller will display the speed of that fan. Um, also you can use a different type of cable um, for that which is I think I've got one somewhere which is one of these, you can also use one of these um, and on the other side the other end is the same so what you can do is decide which one you want if you just want to do one um, connect it in like so like there and then you connect the other end into your fan controller now what else what else you can do is um, say like um, the fan that you plug in say like to this one number two um, it, you want to, um, your motherboard to read that, the speed of that one. Well, all you simply need to do is just find the number two on this side here, which is that pin there, and then connect this one to your motherboard um, chassis, where your chassis fan would plug into. But just connect this one into where the yellow cable will connect into. That way, um, your motherboard will read the speed of that particular fan that's connected to that one there. 
So that's um, that's that's pretty good. Now um, you don't actually um, have to glue these into your case as the bottom is magnetic. So you you can just this will just magnetically attach itself um, to your uh, your PC case uh, side panels and stuff. And so it's really good. And there's also some um, holes in each corner if you wanted to just um, drill some holes and mount them, give it a more permanent fix. You can. But the good thing about this being magnetic is you can you can put it just it just connects wherever you want to put it. And if you want to move it, you can just pull it off and put it wherever. Um, so yeah, it's really good quality, really strong. Um, it's, as you can see in there, it's got it's got the PCB, which is quite thick, and then it's got some foam in the middle, and then it's got the magnetic strip underneath it. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, the, the, the build quality is really strong. Um, the connectors, uh, these Marlex connector here, um, normally they're pretty thin, these. Uh, this is the first one I've seen such a high quality. Uh, each pins are really thick. Uh, and shiny so they definitely haven't skimped on quality there um, and each head as you can see is labeled um, motherboard CPU and um, so it's really easy to use um, and like you say you can connect up to 10 fans on this which the, the other types of product like this I've seen uh, were just a bunch of cables that have been all joined up together so uh so yeah